Yeah, I'm upset, guys. Woke up. I wanted to go see Iron Mike with you guys today, but it's only Thursday. I got to go to work soon. Wait a minute. We got a time machine. Got a working time machine right in the basement. Might as well make use of it. Okay, guys, let's go. Iron Mike Tyson, Kid Dynamite. I have been a huge fan of him since I was a boy. I'm going to be 45 years old next month. I've been a huge fan of Mr. Tyson for over 30 years. I've been very fortunate. I met George Chavallo, Lennox Lewis, Evander Holyfield, Larry Holmes, I've got Manny Pacquiao's autograph. I've got Muhammad Ali's autograph. I've even got Mr. Tyson's autograph. But I have never yet met him. I missed him at Toronto Fan Expo a few years ago. I've regretted it ever since. I've been following him since long before he was the heavyweight champion of the world. Had his video game, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out!, Mastered it. I uh, still remember the code. 007-373-5963 will get you directly to Mr. Tyson. How many times have I played that if that's burned into my memory? A nine-digit code since the 80s. That's how big of a fan I was. I played that game till I was numb when I was a kid. Then when he went to prison... They named the game Punch-Out, and it had Mr. Dream. I came close. I got to see Mike Tyson on stage at the Casino Rama a couple years ago. That's where I met George Chavallo. I got about 15 feet away from him at the end of the show, after the show, but he got mobbed by fans. I couldn't meet him. I snuck to the hotel bar after the show. I thought I was slick thinking he might go there there was three or four other hardcore fans waiting as well but no mr tyson but tomorrow there's no escaping actually it's today now one more sleep because when this ends we're gonna be on the road guys when this little memory ends and I'm going to be doing something off the bucket list and I'm taking you guys along and Glenn along for the ride and Glenn's going to be my cameraman and hopefully we can get some footage. There's going to be lots of legends in that building too, loaded with hockey legends, Brad Hall, tons, tons of hockey legends, Tiger Williams, I can go on and on, Doug Gilmore I believe is going to be there. Even Ric Flair is going to be there. But I'm there for one man and one man only, and it's this man on stage here. And that's me with the great Mr. George Chavallo. Well, it's Saturday, guys. We're going to meet this guy. As you can see, I've already got his autograph. When I seen he was signing these things, I had to have it. These guys are going to be there. PSA. They're the best people to get your stuff authenticated, in my opinion. But kind of glad this is out of the way because it would have costed me about 450 bucks instead of a couple hundred bucks if I had to get his autograph as well. So glad it's only a picture today, guys. Oh, it's the day. We're getting ready. I've already had my bagel. Just getting packed up, ready to go. Gonna have my cheech. The police have the roadblock just over here, like the end of my street here. I don't know what's going on, but I told Glenn 
hope it's not a hostage thing or anything because they're not going to tell tell us we can't leave. There's no way I'm missing this thing. Wow. Pump me full of lead. But we're going to be on the road in a couple minutes. We're going by the my old place first because I got... Well, I'll show you. I got a cool outfit to wear that Justin got me last Christmas. You'll see. Uh, pit stop before the apartment. Glenn had to run in and get his Timmy's. I don't blame him though. It's a big day. I'm trying to pick one of my shirts from Justin. I got goat. That was worn once, greatest of all time. And then I got these two still in plastic. Tyson. And this one says Tyson in red with him sitting there. Hmm. I think goat is appropriate with the outfit I'm wearing. So here's the hat I'm going with, guys, courtesy of Mr. Justin last Christmas. And there's the shirt I went with, greatest of all time because of the green. Got my lucky green serial killer track suit on. Matching Adidas shoes, I'm ready to go. gonna stunt drive to catch him but it's a brand new silver vet making use of this commuter lane though I got Glenn with me so we could use the commuter lane we're clipping another uh, 10 minutes guys we are there got co-pilot Glenn beside me hello everyone Glenn says hello as you hear and uh, yeah he's a co-host today we're gonna be there in another 10 minutes that sign there just said, meet Mike Tyson, and had a picture of him on it. Cause that's where we're going to meet Mike Tyson. Fucking traffic is bad here though, guys. Wow, well, trying to show you Mike Tyson on the billboard, but green light. They got police down here, guys, everywhere because of all that, like traffic is just snarled. We're gonna be turning in here in a minute. So it's going on one o'clock. Just our luck, by the time we get here, Tyson signs autographs between one o'clock and two o'clock. Yeah, I looked into everything. So he'll be signing autographs, but that's okay, because that'll give us the first chance opportunity to get in line. There he is there on the, on the sign, guys. See him? But that'll give us the first chance opportunity to get in to be first in line for the second round of pictures, whatever. Oh, it's only one and bud here. your signal light would work are you a goof this guy in the black car oh i was gonna say you're gonna have to start tossing pylons in a second here to get a parking spot but we got one now to go find building what two three and four glenn three four and five three four and five glenn's the navigator so number six Hopefully. Oh, we, Glenn's killing us here. He's walking us all the way back. But I know we're going the right way eventually because a guy walked by me and he had a picture of him and Tyson in his hand. So Tyson's back here somewhere. We're going to find him.
Yeah, we know that we're at the right place now because entrance. Oh, look at that. You don't see that often. A payphone, eh? Not my thing. Apparently, we go to the autograph area for the pictures. He's going to be signing between one and two, so. That's cool. Maybe I'll see if I can keep that stub. Ooh. So it's all the way at the end of this hall in hall four she said you walk into the room and i'll see him across the room now he's going to be signing autographs right now so i won't be able to get my picture taken until after two this place is packed uh, autograph boss got a bunch of autographs cool. oh yeah this is a horrible layout it's literally shoulder to shoulder, we're supposed to be walking. I think this is the line for autographs at one, but we're gonna get in this line because uh, we're getting a picture at two, so we want to be ready. We don't want to line up. He's in that room, so. Yeah, this is a real bad layout. Wow. This is just going into the room. This is chaos. There's like alarms going off and everything. Like, holy shit, this is laid out like really badly. I cut cops standing around waiting for stuff to happen. Wow. Okay, we're in the main room. He's somewhere in here. Hope I don't get busted recording, but I see him. We see him, guys. Glenn spotted him. There's his booth. Oh, yeah. Wow. This is horribly organized. You don't even know where there's a lineup to line up. Like, where does the line start? There's no staff, anything. Like, this is crazy. Terrible. This is some sort of line. It's for the autographs, but we're waiting for a photo. There's nothing, no signs, no nothing. We might have a staff member. So I looked everywhere on the website for photo times for Mike Tyson. It was nowhere on the website where there was photo times at all. We just showed up here, got our tickets. They directed us down here for photo times. The girl just tried to tell me photos are done. She's going to see if they're doing a round two. I said, they better be doing a round two or somebody owes me some money. Yeah, we're going to talk to the black curtain people because apparently Tyson is done for the day for the photographs. My ass. Well, I'm not happy. And I'm going to be doing a separate video about this. I just got burned for nearly $250 uh, by this, whoever this sports card memorabilia expo, whatever it is. I don't care how big they think they are either. I'm coming after you guys if you don't pay me. Um, so basically I bought a ticket for a photo op, which was, I believe it was a few bucks more than an autograph, I'm not sure. I have his autograph already. I'm pissed, I got pasties, I'm so mad. I've got his autograph already, okay? So I bought this like, a week or two ago, whatever, paid everything in advance, bought the ticket, paid it in advance, bought Glenn a ticket to come with me. So it's not just my money. So I paid for Glenn's ticket to come with me because he's not into any of this, right? But I wanted somebody to keep me company. So I'm paying for that ticket. And then when we're on the way here, the 407, because I, I have a new phone and, uh, I haven't turned off toll roads yet. It puts us on the 407. I say, oh, it's going to be a good day. No big deal. We'll take the pay road, right? Get here. Before I even knew that there is a problem, I'm saying to Glenn, this is the worst run show. Like, it looked like there was going to be riots. There was bottlenecks of people throughout the building where you couldn't move shoulder to shoulder. So we walk in there. What time did we get there, Glenn? 12 30 12 okay so about 12 30 so here's what makes me mad the show was advertised from 10 a.m till 6 p.m tyson was advertised from 10 till 6 other than autographs being between 1 and 2 p.m i was led to believe he was available the rest of the day for autographs it doesn't say times on facebook 
It doesn't say times anywhere. Even when I bought the ticket, got the email, nowhere does it say show up at 10 02, 11 37. If it did, I would have showed up, okay? Because I just drove here, right? Um, so we showed up. I said, there's no rush. Plenty's there all day. They would have put a time. Otherwise, they, they did it for the autographs, right? Between one and two. Um, so we get here. I fight my way all the way through the crowd, me and Glenn. Because the one hallway to make it there is a big, long hallway. And it was bottlenecked to the point where people, there was almost fights a couple times. Okay. So we fight our way in. And there's a huge, got to be 600 people in line for autographs. So I say, first thing we're going to do is park in this line because I'm sure right afterwards he'll be going back to pictures, right? Makes sense. But before we waited, I seen a staff member finally, after 25 minutes of looking for one, and she told me that Mike Tyson was done for the day. I said, well, you must be mistaken because it didn't say times. I just showed up here, got my ticket to get my photo at the front desk. They gave it to me and told me where to go get it done. Now you're telling me it's over? And I just had to fight 20 minutes down this hallway. And then to make it worse, so after I'm told to Facebook or email them, they're assuring me I'm going to get my money back. Like, the girl couldn't believe it. Oh, it's not on the website? Show me. You know what I mean? Here's my phone. Show me where it's anywhere on the website or on the fucking, fa sorry for swearing, or anywhere on the Facebook page where it says the time for his his photos it does not it says autograph times i looked it inside no because i'm not an idiot before this day came to make sure this shit didn't happen because he's only here for a day he's probably flying out the same day like even if these peckers give me my give me my money back even if they give me my money back i still can't meet them I'll never go to one of their shows again. I'm going to find out at Sports Card Expo. I don't know if Fitterman's behind it. I don't know, but whoever it is, I'm going to be raising some shit. Okay, guys, so we're on the way back to Hamilton. I am so angry. If I would have thought about it, I would have stayed in the autograph line. And when I got to the front, just said, let me take a table picture because I paid Wow, we almost got wiped out by that portion. It was on camera, guys. Holy shit. The car waved. Did you feel that, mm -hmm. Glenn? Oh. But, and then um, the camera hitched back in the same lane it came out of. So, yeah. So, I ended up leaving empty-handed. So, the funny thing is, because I didn't see a time anywhere on the website or anything, I guess at some point when I was tired, I had emailed them. And I noticed they emailed me back yesterday when I was at work saying that the pictures are at 11.30 or whatever. But I didn't see the email because I was at work. And for something like this, it should have the time like it did the autographs. So, yeah, that's, that's still not on me. If they posted the time, or even had the time on the ticket, and not to mention, guys, when I got to the main line to get to show them the email to get my photo ticket? Why didn't they tell me it was over? Because after they handed us that ticket, we were in a lineup for 40 minutes in gridlock, shoulder to shoulder. It was nuts. And all that for nothing. And then we had to do it again to leave again. I'm not happy. Um, a friend of mine knows the guy that owns the company. His name is Ryan Finnerman. I Facebooked him. I've emailed the company. See, if they posted the time that the pictures were and I was late, that's on me. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. You posted the autograph time, not the picture time. There was another guy with us in line that got burned for the uh, photo. But I'm not happy about it. Like, I, the workers that were on the floor were assuring me that I'm going to get my money back, probably because they could see I wasn't happy. I'll be interested to see if I get repaid back or not. Then you should make a comment on uh, your group about it. Which group? Well, whichever group you're talking to. Oh, it's, we're talking to them. Or which group? No, 
No, but it, whatever you're talking to now, but in, when, in a few days. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've uh, Facebooked their Facebook page. I've uh, Facebooked that Ryan Fitterman guy. Like I said, guys, if they posted times, like, I'll even show you the ticket. When I do the editing, I'll put a picture up of the ticket. Nowhere does it say times. Like, even the staff on the floor, the girl said, oh, well, you missed it, blah, blah, blah. I said, the time wasn't posted anywhere. It wasn't, and she, I couldn't believe it. I said, no, show me where. And yeah, of course, she couldn't show me where because it wasn't posted anywhere. But they had the autograph time, though. I've got to slow down, I'm angry, and I was just doing, like, well, too fast. So, mm -hmm. got to slow down. But anyway, I'm going to keep you guys posted on what happened. This is that Toronto Sports Card Expo, I think it's called. It's put on by Fitterman, Ryan Fitterman. He does a lot of big signings. He was actually behind getting Tyson to the Casino Rama when I went there and seen him on stage. I got closer there to him than I got here, and here I paid big money for it. I'm pissed, guys. Wow. So that was the story, guys. There's not really much more to get into. I'm not happy about it. And you know what? Mike Tyson, you're wrapped up with these people. So, um, yeah. All I got back was, uh, well, they're paying me back, and they're paying Glenn back, too, because I, I bought his ticket. Just, just he, He's not even interested in it. He was just going to keep me company, so they're paying him back, too. But uh, the one guy, Ryan Fitterman, the guy's name is on the poster. My friend told me it's him that's doing the show. He said, so I don't want to quote what he said, but something along the lines of he, does, he has nothing to do with the show or anything like that, and I'm like, your name's on the poster. He worded it in a way that he could say, I didn't say that. That's not my event. I brought the guys there. You know, so I'm not going to get into that back and forth. Dude, your name's on the fucking poster. You know what I mean? You're wrapped up in it too. So, um, yeah, so I'm hoping the, the, the company said they're going to give me my money back. They tried telling me that they emailed everybody this week and told them a time. And I said, oh, you check, dude. You didn't email me shit. So um, how long this is going to take to get my money out of them is beyond me. Like I, uh, the guy replied to me and I replied back immediately and said, you know, okay, so my name's Neil. You know my information. This is Glenn's information. What do we got to do to get this done, this transfer done? And no response, so I have a feeling it's going to be a minute, probably. I'll never, ever, ever go to one of those events again, and no matter what spin they put on it, you did not put what time he was doing photographs. And if you did, or if you actually emailed me, I'd have been fucking there, because I was there, I was up since 8.30 this morning. I'm sorry about the language, guys, I'm pissed. Like, that's... Anyway, sorry about the disappointing video. I hope it was fun up until that point. And I'm not lying about how... I'm foaming at the mouth. I'm so pissed. I'm not lying about how badly run it was either. You could hear me before I even knew we weren't seeing Mike Tyson. You could hear me complaining. You know what I mean? In that hallway, the way it was all backed up. Like, if a fire marshal walked in there, they would have shut it down. So... I'm not just saying all this stuff because I got burned for, you know what I mean? I'm saying it because it was a shit show. And you, you, you've seen it yourself. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And don't go to those events.